Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17 to December 23rd 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is just a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign therefore this reading is going to resonate in a different level with every single different Capricorn in this planet Therefore, uh, in this video, I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, as well as I'm going to give a few examples <clears throat> how these uh, synergies or how these combinations of cards could manifest. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them according to the examples I'm giving and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want your personal situation <clears throat> to be put under analysis, just like I'm doing with the examples here in this video, uh, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And uh, if you go for that option, uh, until the duration of December, the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes live personal reading with me are uh, with reduced costs. So if you want to save some money, well, that is the way you do it and have your answers, a bunch of your questions answered. So what we do have here, it is a typical uh, week of where not much things are to happen in your life, unfortunately, uh, Capricorns. That could be also revisited from a positive end, you know, that at least there won't be any downs, but not much of an ups as well. And that is due to the fact we do have the High Priestess here into the main position, which is the uh, topic of your week, and the Seven of Pentacles, which is... Um, into the challenges that are causing predicaments. So what these cards are literally telling me just from the first glance is that you are to realize, uh, you know, that you are putting way too much effort into certain undertakings in your life and this week you have to put everything on hold just so you can uh, you can kind of like re-systemize um, how much you invest in everything around you. Uh, you know, you you will basically have to kind of like, I don't know exactly the English word here, excuse me guys. Um, you know, you have to put an end to all those wasting of resources or of energies toward those, uh, toward those enterprises. Just to give you an example, you know, you may date with a certain person who never who, who didn't have any intentions or it doesn't want to transform these dates into a, a productive relationship and throughout that week you are to realize that you know and put an end to it from for one of uh, from one or different perspective just so you can kind of like throw those uh, efforts into a, a much more positive aspect which is not which is yet to be revealed all right so that week it is just a week where you actually hit the brakes instead of making a, a progress forth. Now, the additional card to the uh, High Priestess, it is the Ten of Pentacles. And actually, we do have natural enemies here. So, the more the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands, excuse me, the more the Ten of Wands takes place, the less the High Priestess is active. So, what this card here represents is pleasing others over pleasing oneself. You know, taking on a lot of responsibilities toward situations and toward other people rather than taking responsibility for oneself which is just on the contrary what the high priestess preach the high priestess preach that one needs to take solitude all right and one needs to start thinking about his own personal affairs and all personal agendas now with the high priestess um these answers cannot be found through uh, astrologers, for example, crystal readers, tarot readers, or you name it. When we do have the high priestess, these answers can be found only through yourself. So you have to listen to your inner voice, which is very different from intuition. And I want to explain that. Now, intuition it is when something simply hits you, all right, out of nowhere. It's kind of like revelation or an insight or whatever. The inner voice is when you know the answer deep down within yourself but for one or another reason you are ignorant for it because it is somewhat uncomfortable for you 
no different than, for example, a, a, a woman which is abused into one relationship, you know, and she tries to convince herself that things are to change, which deep down within herself, she knows the answer that this will never going to happen. So that is the inner voice that you have to listen. It's kind of like a hunch. It is kind of like a uh, deep revelations. <clears throat> But all in all, what we do have here, Capricorns, is that it's going to be a week where when you put on stop all these activities that are mainly involving the progress of the others rather than the, your personal progress, right? This is where a big burden from your shoulders is going to drop off and you will start feeling yourself much more lighter than before with much more time to spend upon your personal uh, upon your personal things personal deeds to spend with your family and etc etc on top of that it is likely that you will reach some sort of a hidden wisdom here now i know that this doesn't mean much but this is a some of the high priestess meanings you know you are going to reach a hidden wisdom for yourself and usually what that means is that uh, you are to likely realize how things works in a certain field of your life or with a certain project of yourself or how the things are supposed to work and how to make them to work the way they are supposed to work if that makes sense but in the grand scheme of things the high priest is here points that nothing much is going to change apart from your vision right so things are going to be just the same it is just your vision is start um, or kind of like your perceptance and your intentions are starting to differentiate from what you had until this very moment which is a, a good thing because after this week passes most likely this is a huge impulse here that we do have which you are probably to traverse into a, a much more productive either project or either relationship than you have tried to establish until this very moment and the very least is not going to involve you pleasing others and obeying on a foreign code of conduct. The second card here, which is the justice card or the core of the situation, accompanied with the hangman, it is the, um, I cannot really say the realization, but the structure of, uh, it is very difficult to explain, all right? So uh, what these cards literally are pointing here, <clears throat> It is that the more miserable and the more stuck you feel yourself, the more you are to start realizing that that is because you're placing someone else's priorities in front of your own personal priorities, all right? With these, uh, with these couple of cards. And as soon as you start placing your priorities first, and then you prioritize, if you have the time for it, of course, uh, someone else's priorities or someone close to you and etc etc then it is when your uh, situations are going to stir again because the hangman here it does represent the different perspective and uh, the different vision upon your life in general and of, of your situations of your relationship for example so here what we do have it could be that you are way too much pleasing your partner and they now is just taking you for granted you know they they don't even uh put the bare minimum uh the bare minimum effort into that relationship because they know that you love them way too much and you will do anything that that it needs to be done in order to stay into that relationship and as soon as you abandon this standpoint and you look this from a different perspective like from the perspective you know why i am the only one who actually gives a shit about how this relationship looks like and what this relationship is in reality and you start separating and spreading equally the uh the responsibilities in there are no different than, for example, having a child, you know, and let's say that every day you are bringing that child to school and you are attending with that child uh, to its homeworks and etc, etc, while your wife or your husband is just going at work and when they come back home, they just sit in front of the TV doing nothing else, you know, while they still share, while, while they have to share responsibilities with you. So what we do have here, it is the uh, concept of that you are to recognize that you are taking the biggest portion of responsibilities either into one relationship and either into one career and that has to change 
because otherwise it's one big fat burden that you have to carry on on your shoulders and it's getting heavier and heavier by a day and that has to be put to end. And that will happen by you secluding yourself and uh, literally, you, you know, it's kind of like, it's not even making a point of it, literally showing that you are no longer uh, obeying to that world order, if I may uh, express myself that way. But definitely, if you do so, I mean, if you kind of like um, close yourself for those kind of responsibilities and those kind of um, priorities that are not your responsibility in general, uh, people are going to get your point. And uh, at the start of the reading, I said that this is going to be a week where you are most likely going to contemplate from these couple of cards. That is because of the Seven of uh, Pentacles. And through the contemplation and the withdrawal, uh, those which are involved with you in the situations are going to realize that they cannot exploit you forever right at the end they also need to contribute into whatever you all are trying to push through so they can stay in it and uh, this is uh, one way how you get the message how you are to get the message across this is one way how for example your partner into your relationship will see that you know they cannot slack any longer or they cannot boss you around any, any longer not in this brutal way and if they want to be in that relationship they are, they need to kind of like lift their fingers a little bit same goes uh, for one career but with the seven of pentacles we do have the queen of wands here and that is a actually very peculiar um a very peculiar combination. The Queen of Pentacles here uh, is, uh, uh, how can I place it, It's uh, these are your qualities, right? And the, the Queen of Wands, excuse me, these are your qualities. And the Seven of Pentacles points the investments of those qualities, or rather the contemplation of investments of those qualities. So this is a, your predicament. How to invest your qualities in a, such a way that they will actually make a sound, that they will actually be appreciated and they will actually matter. Because until this very moment here, what we see is that your qualities, as I said, are taken for granted, either from your boss, either from a co-worker of yours, or either from from a partner of one's relationship or a friend and now this doesn't this these cards are pointing that you should not stop performing well but you have to per perform to such extent to make your point across that the other party also need to make something about it you know you cannot be the only one making efforts here and as the core of the situation points that eventually the balance needs to be restored and sooner and better sooner than later now with the queen of uh, wands it is very important to auction, to uh, recognize that you do have a certain leverage and actually if you think about it very carefully you do have you do know excuse me where the buttons that needs to be pressed are located either with your co-workers boss or partner into uh, into one relationship <clears throat> But the problem is going to be that you are to feel very milder or very commiserative for to press those buttons. Therefore, you may find yourself quite reluctant to do so. And here we go, because you pity that person and because you don't want to cause them a little bit uncomfort, you know, yet you are sacrificing your well-being here, you know, and continue on obliging and uh, kind of like following the code of conduct, which is not yours. So you should not hesitate to press the necessary buttons in order to make your points across and to make people start performing into your situations. So just all in all, before we go to the uh, Five of Pentacles, which is the uh, guidance in this week, we are having you here taking a little bit of a back seat, all right? so the others can realize or your partner your boss and etc etc can realize you know that they actually need to have a part in it in whatever undertaking or enterprise you are initiating and if they want to be a part of it uh, if they want to take a part of it they also need to do something about it they also need to lift their fingers and to basically perform in it 
and as I said the best way to do so is by you secluding yourself withdrawing for a bit and that will allow you to as well uh, kind of like recuperate um, recuperate yourself and recuperate your emotional uh, your emotional state the five of pentacles as a uh, guidance here followed by the ace of swords it does point that from from there from that specific point where you are now making others as well to help you and to do their part into the undertakings into your marriage into your relationship you know into your career and etc etc now you are to realize that with very little you can do so much more the, the ace of swords completely negates the negative effect of the five of pentacles and it's pointing that if you are continue on to working smart which should not be any problem whatsoever because the high priestess as i said keeps a, a hidden knowledge and a hidden wisdom so if you work smart here you are to overcome great amounts of difficulties that may appear on multiple fronts and uh, being frantic about it it's it's not really the uh, the ideal performance in the ideal approach that you can do what the ace of swords uh, does point is first you know placing in an accurate assessment of the situation and afterwards taking the necessary measures now because it is the ace of swords these measures may not be much of your liking you know they could seem a little bit more drastic than usual but these are but these are the necessary measures for you in order to uh, to make some progress just like i told you here you do know where the buttons are in order for you to press so you can make for example your wife to do the, to do her part into your relationship but you may think that that is a little bit more drastic and that you may hope that uh, she is going to uh, basically out of the blue recognize that she actually needs to do something well it's not going to happen that way because you are doing everything why does she needs to do anything if you're doing everything you know so that's why you gotta press those buttons here in this week even if that is a, a little bit more drastic because the drastic measures or the the drastic times are requiring drastic measures and those drastic measures are to allow you to overcome multiple blockage on multiple fronts so that was uh, capricorns the tarot reading now let's uh, shuffle the lenormand cards and let's see what they are to show us and they are to show us a event that you should uh, either look forward to or try to avoid so the first card that we do have this is going to be the sickle which speaks for harvesting or it basically cuts the next ha the next card which is the um the key and the key st stands for discovery it stands for opening or closing and then what we do have it is the snake and the snake it is a, a typical card of betrayal of enemy of a rival or of someone who is using you you know because this is what the snake do in um, in the cartoons and in the lit and in the literature it basically deceives you so what happens here is that you do sap and cut the way of someone who is capable to deceive you and to make you work for their own means it is basically what this reading here down in tarot is all about so what happens is the sight cuts the open door which this person is using here with their clever standpoint you know for example knowing how much you love them and that you do anything uh, in order to save that relationship you know and that way taking you they taking you for granted and exploiting this particular standpoint well you are to sub this open door for them or you are to close it so this is this was just an example guys again that is a, a general reading for uh capricorn star signs and uh therefore is going to resonate differently with every single one of you um so if you want your your real situation to be just like the examples in this reading and to have a separate reading for it well that is a, a subject of a personal session and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing now if you go for it don't forget that the 20 and the 30 minute tarot reading for the duration of a month of december are with reduced price rod signing out now 
see you next time. Bye.